Burfettia maxima is a species of non-parasitic plasmodial slime mold, and a member of the class Myxomycetes. It is commonly known as the tapioca slime mold because of its peculiar pure white, tapioca pudding-like appearance. A common species with a worldwide distribution, particularly in North America and Europe. It is often found on bark after heavy rain or excessive watering. Their spores are produced on or in aerial sporangia and are spread by wind, however beetles of the family Lathridiidae are also reported to disperse the spores. Bonner states that soil invertebrates and rain mainly disperse spores as they are sticky and unlikely to be carried by air currents. The scientific name was designed to be defamatory as the plasmodium was thought to be particularly ugly. The genus is named after German botanist and mycologist Julius Oskar Brefeld, August 19, 1839 to January 12, 1925. Distribution found throughout the United Kingdom and common in Europe, Burfettia maxima is known to be much rarer in North America. Description and habitat no longer regarded as a fungus, Burfettia belongs to the group colloquially known as plasmodial or acellular slime molds. Although known within the scientific community as myxomycetes, the term no longer refers to a formal taxonomic group. Burfettia maxima is one of the largest of the slime molds, and its distinctive feature is the presence of multicellular vesicles within the capillidium. Joseph Tomas Rostopinsky (1850–1928) first described this species. The plasmodium emerges from soil and leaves as a pure white structure, often very large and exhibiting rhythmic cytoplasmic streaming, which helps transport chemicals within the organism. The plasmodium may move some distance before forming the ethalium or sporangial phase, of an equal size, 4 to 30 cm in its longest dimension, 5 to 15 mm thick, carried upon a widespread, silvery, shining hypothalus, purplish-black. The cortex at first papillate, however this is a fugacious or transitory phase. The capillidium, the network of thread-like filaments in which the spores are embedded within sporangia is abundant, the threads dark, netted, the nodes bearing multicellular vesicles, the whole borne upon, but often breaking away from the flattened and irregular, columellate basal strands. The spore mass is brownish-black or a dusky color. The spores are yellow-brown, distinctly warded, and 9 to 12 micrometers in diameter. Found living on decaying organic material, such as old tree stumps, logs, leaf mold, compost heaps, and other organic debris in fields, woods, and along the roadsides, essentially the white plasmodial phase is a single cell. One example of Brufettia maxima in North Wales is recorded to have covered whole tree stumps, was a centimeter thick with a surface area of over a square meter and weighed up to around 20 kilograms, therefore technically amongst the largest cells known. Related genera are Coloderma, Cometricia, Enerthonema, Lamproderma, McBridiola, and Steminitis. References Notes Sources Bonner, John T. 2009. The Social Amoeba. Princeton, Princeton University Press. ISBN 978-0-691-13939-5 Stevenson, Stephen L. and Stempen, Henry. 2000. Mixcomseats. A Handbook of Slime Molds. Portland, Timber Press. ISBN 0-88192-439-3. Bibliography Baumuller, J. A. 1899, Notas über Brefettia. Berhandel, K. K. Zuhl, Bot Gesellschaft Wien 49 104 105. Heckler, J. 1980, Die Mixoflagellaten von Brefettia Maxima Rost, und ihre Nahrungsaufnahme mit Hilfe von Geibewegungen. Mitteilungen aus dem Institut für Allgemeine Botanik in Hamburg 1749 55. Lagerberg, T. 1945, ETTFYND Avenue Brufettia Maxima, Fr. Rost. Svensk Botanisk Tidskrift 39 432 434. Lister, A. 1888, Notes on the Plasmodium of Bodamia utricularis and Brufettia Maxima. Annals of Botany 2 1 24. External links DVD of the tapioca lime mold at Spears Old School Grounds